Hey everybody, um, I wanted to show you this new book that I got. Actually, I got four books, but um, I'm only going to do one at a time. These are from Carlton Books. They are out of London. Um, they sent these to me for review and I really, really, really appreciate it. This book is so pretty. It's called The Flowers and Nature Coloring Book. It says the author is Beverly Lawson, um, but it, I had to look that up online because nowhere in the book could I find that information. It just says 120 ornate designs inspired by nature, um, just add color and create a masterpiece. They have several other titles in this line and it just says Carlton Books on the back. And in here it says picture credits, shutterstock.com and think.com. But online, when I went and checked, it said our author Beverly, what did I say? Beverly Lawson. Okay, what I really like about this book is how colorful the front is and the inside and the back covers gorgeous and the book is really heavy duty sturdy good quality book um i love 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 how they color the insides of this isn't that beautiful um it's very thin paper it's a little heavier i would say definitely heavier than copy paper they are double-sided so that would be an issue if you're using your you know your water mediums and your alcohol inks the pages in this book are just absolutely gorgeous. You know, you got a lot of flowers, birds, botanicals, a lot of repeat patterns, which some people just really love to just sit down and relax and just color, color, color. Um, in front of the TV, sit down and whatever. This is just so pretty. This, I would just start a color, maybe color a few and then move on and then come back in a week or two and color another one. That's how you fill these in. I wouldn't do it all at one time. I love this page. This is so pretty. I could um, color wash on that one for sure. I would probably use my markers on something like this. I love the leaves in this book. I have a lot of really pretty ones. This is a gorgeous page. Really nice. I love these flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous. This would be really pretty with your um, tritone pencils, the Corinors. This one is kind of like, I don't know about this one, it's a little bit too much for me. This one would be really nice colored in. I like stuff like this. It's not intimidating, you can just color right in, get it done in the evening, no problem. See, I like that in one page you have you know, kind of the whimsicky, whimsical, doodly kind of thing, and then you got this really ornate, beautifully detailed picture on the next page. Look how beautiful that is! Really cute. This book reminds me a lot of the um, the Garden of Earthly Delights book. Some of the pages, like this. And then we got seashells, random. Giant picture, close-up picture of a leaf. Some feathers, like a whimsical drawing of a feather, and then like a real drawing of a feather. More leaves. This kind of looks like wallpaper to me. This is beautiful. I love this. This is going to be really pretty when that's colored in. I love these pages because it's kind of like half and half. Mirrored image. I like this. Not quite sure how to color it. I guess you just color the lines. I'm not sure because these are not petals, really. And I'm not sure how to color this either. Beautiful roses. Is there, yeah, roses. 
birds and butterflies. This is really cool too. The the looking down on the um, koi pond is re this is going to be really pretty. I think this might be one of the first ones I color in. I like that it's looking down on it and the fish and lily pads. This tree is very cool. Beautiful. Another close up of the leaves. This would be pretty looking almost stained glass. This one is very, very intricate. Let me get a little close up. Can you see that? It's all Zen Doodle inside the leaf. Very, very detailed. Very pretty. Not saying that you have to go in and do every little teeny tiny thing. You can color it how you want, but it's um, a lot of work went into these. This is very pretty. I like this. This is beautiful. Pine cones and pine needles, I'm not really into that, so I probably wouldn't color these pages. But this definitely I would color. It's just gorgeous. Pretty design. Some more butterflies. I like coloring the butterflies. The daffodils. This is beautiful. I like fall leaves here now. There's some more of those um, Zen Doodled leaves. This is really pretty. Almost looks like carnations. Hummingbird. This looks like a little chickadee. Some grape leaves. That would be nice. Colored in. Pine cones again. Don't like them, but that's just personal preference. This is pretty. A little vine like thing. Beautiful roses. I like these. Some more leaves. Pretty sunflower. Some more grape leaves. Here we got roses and a lot of paisley leaves in the background. More flowers. I mean, the pages are just filled. You can't go wrong. There will be something in this book you will like. I love the birds in this page. This is really cute. I was thinking about color blocking this, you know, start here and do all the rainbow colors. This one, look at the birds. And I love this strange shape of these flowers. Love it. Some more birds. We've got some ladybugs here. And these look like daisies. Page of birds. Those look like poppies. And that's it. I like these too. This is a really, really good book. I don't know how many pages it says. 120. 120 pages. It's a really, really good, nice quality book. Uh, again, it's Carlton Books. And I will link down to where you can purchase this. And go find it. You'll really, really like it. It is a beautiful book. Especially if you like the botanical and the flowers and all that. You'll really, really love this book. It's great. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.